Hello everyone and welcome to Diecast Models Reviews. Today we are going to review this 118 um, SRT Viper by Maestel. Okay, let's start with the front. There's the Viper badge. It's pretty, pretty accurate. And the front, that part is designed to re resemble some mesh. Uh, it's made of plastic, but it's pretty basic. Um, here's a front splitter, as well as the air intake here. Air intake here. Those are pretty accurately done, and the lights right here. You can see the groove marks, right? You see groove marks right there where the light is supposed to come out I believe and you can see like the main part light and some LEDs along there but this big plastic piece right here is kind of unrealistic and here where it's separating the gap between the engine and the hood it's quite a huge gap if you fit your finger down to it. Not necessarily a good thing. And same thing with the other light. And here we have an air intake going straight into the engine and it, and it actually connects to an engine. Just a pretty nice touch. Here, both sides, we have two vents. They're not very accurate as they're just made of plastic with a mesh design put onto it. Um, right here is a turn signal, it's just painted on. Um, and here are the wheels. It's a Viper sign. And the brake discs right there, you can see all the individual um, bolts. It's pretty nice. And the brakes right there are red. Pretty nice. And but they don't have the they don't see a viper on them like the real model does. But otherwise pretty nicely done the wheels. So it's GTS on the side. But uh, supposed to like on the real model. Um and so the front is pretty nicely done. Um, here we move on to the side. Right there we have a vent. Fortunately it doesn't connect to engine. It leads to <coughs> a plastic sort of vent thing in there. Um, you'll see a photo slideshow after. Give you a look at it. <coughs> uh, exhaust right there. And this one doesn't lead to anywhere either. It just ends to a piece of black plastic but from the side it looks pretty nice and the rear wheels right here they also have brakes brake discs looks pretty nice as well as this turn signal um, it's also painted on but mm, it's a nice touch to the model and now we move on to the back. Back is also pretty accurate. Um, here we have a vent here, and a vent right there. They're also plastic mesh, or plastic that is designed to look like mesh. Um, here are the lights. Looks pretty realistic. This middle part has some nice texture to it, just like on the real model. And here, turn it. There is some carbon fiber looking plastic right here and down here. Here you can see it better, it resembles carbon fiber. And this right here, the sticker, this one, it's actually a light on the real model, but instead they turned into a sticker because it would be hard to make on this model. So there's the back side. 
this the bottom is carbon fiber. And on this side, we have the fuel cap, which does say Viper on it. Um, exhaust and the wheels and GTS, just like the other side. Yes, the wheels do turn. Um, let's move on to the engine. The whole thing just moves up like that. Just like it does on the rear viper. Um, and there's a brace. And the air intake, which I mentioned earlier, does connect to the engine. Um, it says Viper right there. There's a lot of, mainly just one single piece of plastic. Just many details in it. So, many small details. And here, I'll try to zoom in. There. It says Viper. Don't know if you can see it or not. In the air intake. It's really realistic. Um, here there's uh, windshield wipers, plastic, and a vent right there. It's got some nice texture to it. Um, and like I mentioned before, the side vent does come out here. It's kind of loose. Um, and there's an the engine. Uh, well, it's also pretty nicely done. Pretty accurate, in fact. Okay. Let's move on. Close the whole cap like that. Let's move on to the interior. Um, fortunately, right there, it should say Viper, but I guess may still want to take costs, so they didn't put that plaque there. Um, the doors are modeled nicely. Pretty realistic with that door handle and the windshield mirror. Win uh, not the windshield, it's the mirror. Um, inside, we have a steering wheel with the Viper logo on it. There are a couple of pedals down there. Really realistic. Um, as well as a shifting knob right there, a center console, and there are some speedometers and other uh, gauges. Um, the seats say so Viper on them. They they look very sporty, and there's there's a seatbelt buckle, seatbelt on the buckle. There. And there you can see the handbrake, the shifting knob. Um, so there's the interior. Um, on the other side here, we also have the words GTS. Sorry. We have the words GTS on the passenger side. Oh, my zoom's not focusing. There you go, right there says GTS. It spells a lot of air conditioning. Um, here we have a, another vent right next to the driver. And it, it's also on the other side, right here. Um, it's pretty accurate. Now let's move on to the trunk. Just opens up like that. And there were some nails and things here. Looks very real. And here's the trunk. You can see right through the driver compartment. It's pretty realistic. Well, Really nice, accurate model as a whole. Um, it is a great model to add to your collection. Yeah, a 
great model.